Apply provided skin prep. With tabs up, apply the adhesive base above the upper lip. Remove the liners that are remaining on the base at each cheek. For patients with a small face or an injury on the cheeks, apply the base tabs down. The base may be modified for patients with facial hair by cutting off the tabs and placing them on the cheeks, past the hairline. Press the neckband onto the hook strip of the adhesive base, making sure the track is centered above the patient's mouth. Draw the ends of the neckband just below the ears and crisscross the band. Press the closures to the outside of the band to secure. Lift the Dale overlay. Position the channel over the ET tube. Press the Dale overlay across the track and neckband to secure position of the endotracheal tube. With the tube resting below the channel, wrap strong adhesive tape one time around the ET tube. Press the tube channel onto the tube. Firmly wrap tape in a forward spiral motion around the channel and ET tube to secure. Adjust the fastener tabs on the neckband for a snug fit as necessary. To reposition the tube in the patient's mouth, hold the tape channel with one hand. Lift the Dale overlay off the track. Slide the channel to move the ET tube to desired location. Press the overlay back down onto the track and neckband to secure the tube position in place. Change tape as necessary. The Dale Breeze Lock Endotracheal Tube Holder can also be used on patients in the prone position.